He didn't stay and talk with me or nothing like that. I didn't pressure him about being saved or, or anything like that. But I just showed him love. That's all I did. I didn't, I didn't condemn him. I didn't judge him for what he was doing or anything like that. I just told him how good of a man that I thought he was. And um, I appreciated him stopping by getting a plate. You know, I said, because that made me feel good. And, and he, um, the next year, he came back. And it wasn't even a year. Probably like six or seven months later, he came and he told me, he said, you know, I never had nobody to ever invite me to their home to eat. I said, are you serious? He said, yes. He said he never had nobody to invite him to their home to eat, not even his family. And he said that touched his heart so much that he had that he actually slowed down doing what he was doing. And he was beginning to talk a lot about the Lord and stuff and how um, the Lord was changing his life. So I'm telling you, just a small token of love goes a long way. A small token. And every time he would see me, he said, I remember you inviting me to come eat with you. <laughs> and you know, we got to stop looking at people funny. Yeah, they doing things that, you know, that aren't right. But at the time, they feel like that's where they need to be. And we have to have a heart of compassion and love and understand that those folks are suffering. They're suffering. You think they really want to give up their food stamps and, and the money that they get? They really don't. They really don't. It's just that that addiction has already got them to that point that that's the only way they think they can survive is to give up what they have. So, And when you've been through addictions, um, like drug addictions, you understand that. See, I'm an ex-crack um, addict. So I understand what it's like to have an addiction and be turned away. I know what it's like to be getting this money and you wasting it. And you know that you're wasting it. You feel that you're not stupid. You're just addicted. Listen now, you're not stupid at all. You're just addicted and you can't resist the temptation because nobody has given you the tools of how to resist the temptation. People look at you and say, why don't you quit that mess? And the more they put you down, the more you feel like you need that drug. The more you run to that drug, the more you run to the dealers, the more that people put you down. So instead of putting people down, just start loving on them. You don't have to um, pop off because they done did something wrong. It's a way to do all things. You know, the le there's the legal side of it and there's the illegal side of it. And it all, I'm telling you, with love, it all will work out for the good. I'm trying to tell y'all for real. It really will. God, I didn't mean to stay on here this long because I am tired. Um, a little bit about what went on today with Leah. Um, we had a great time um, eating. I got to eat with um, Butter, my little um, niece, but she calls me grandma too. So y'all go to my Plus Size Grandma Reality Show podcast on Facebook. That's our fan page. You will see all the pictures from the day that we took as we went out to eat at the school. Um, I had a great time and my mother went with us too. My 89 year old mother, she went with us and she, um, she didn't eat cause she had already ate before she left home. So she was like, I can't eat anything else. So she didn't eat anything else. Um, but she was with us. My daughter, my son, he went with us and we all just had a real lovely time. So y'all go check out our pictures. And y'all can comment on our pictures and like our fan page and stuff. Um, and what else did I do today? Okay, I made a beef stew for dinner tonight. It was so freaking good. Oh, my God. I just took the beef beef out and I just put some mayonnaise on some bread <laughs> and made me a beef, like a roast beef sandwich. That was so good, y'all. I'm telling you. Mm. Okay, well. That's all I got for y'all tonight. Um, I'm just going to go and finish watching this Christmas movie. I was on Polar Express, and now I'm on the Hallmark Christmas movies. I need to go rest a little bit. I 
it's been it's it's been a great week and it's been a week where I have been really active this week and I'm I feel kind of tired right now so I don't know why I'm tired this early but I feel kind of tired maybe because it's a little chilly or the rain and what else was I gonna say um dang I was go I forgot what I was gonna say mm. Oh, I know exactly what I was going to say. I got little muscles. <laughs> oh, that was a long laugh for me. But I got little muscles. Like I had took a picture and I was holding my arm out. Oh, my little muscles sore to me. And I saw my little muscles. I mean, it's like. I can see it like building since I've been lifting the weights. And also, I'm starting to feel my skin tone up. It's starting to tone up. Um, I still do have a lot of skin though. I still got a lot of skin on my arms, but on my thighs, it's nowhere near as bad as it was before I started the weightlifting and the bike training and the protein. But my arms are still a little. They still, well, not a little bit, but they still got a lot of skin because, you know, when you lose 200 pounds, that's a lot of skin. You know, that fat don't just retract. <laughs> Y'all, that almost rhymed in it. Fat don't retract. It don't go back. Once it, once it detaches, it don't go back. So you have to tone it up. And I thank God for my therapist. And I did miss, I miss my therapist today. Um, we're out until the 29th, so I won't go to our next Thursday either. I miss my group. And that could be why I feel a little sad earlier. Because I was feeling sad earlier. Um, before I even read that article, I was actually feeling a little sad. And it could be because I was missing my, my, <laughs> my Daymark family. That's probably what it was. But, you know, hopefully, I just get my butt on in the bed to fall asleep. That's all it is to it. Just go on to sleep, Coco. Y'all ever had one of them nights where you are tired, but you don't want to go to sleep? That's how it is. That's exactly how it is, but... I'm going to get on up out of here and go to sleep because I really am tired. And I got to locate where this son of mine is at. I think he's down my daughter's house. But I was just going to see what he going to do for tonight. If he going to stay here with me or stay with his sister. If I go to sleep now, I can wake up real early and rearrange some things. I have a passion for rearranging things now. Mm, didn't have that before, but I guess I'm starting to see the broody. And a lot of things that are just right around me. And I still do, by the way, my face is still wrapped up too, y'all. My face now has been wrapped for what I think is going on. This is actually the second month. Second month, October, November. November. November 30th will be two months that I have been um, having to wrap my face up. And that helps keep that swelling and stuff down from the TMJ. Uh, usually you have my face wrapped all day so that when I talk, that my jawbone isn't moving too far out. Um, but it's wrapped all day up until it's time for me to go somewhere or sing. Then I take it down. But right now, I think um, this is the best therapy for it. It's better than medicine to me. Once I get the pain under control, I stop taking the medicine and just get where I don't move the jaw that much. Because I'm not going to get addicted to these pills that's out here when I know that there are some natural remedies that really do help. Like this one, keeping it from moving. <sighs> okay, y'all. Done blowing. Done blowing for the night. I'm going to get on out for real. Whew, this water good. All right, y'all, but you've been listening to Miss um, Coco Bowden, 
right here on my plus size grandma and i guess i will see y'all loves tomorrow and y'all remember to love on somebody and if you don't hear in there another broadcast out of me um by your choice by not coming on this page make sure that for the holidays that you do donate somewhere that you trust or better yet just make some bags and go give them out yourself you know who's in need you ain't got you ain't got to go to an organization you just do it yourself and give them out to people that's even better that's even more heartfelt Don't forget about the Go Support on um, the GoFundMe page, Cycling for Kids with Cancer. And rest in peace, Mr. James Dobson. And I am praying for that family. Lord, just cover them. Lord, I know it's hard and it's tragic. But with you, God, we can have peace and comfort in our hearts. Mm. Lord, have mercy. Lord, just shower them with your love, your grace, your mercy. And put the right people in their path that they need to continue to carry out the mission that James has already set forth. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. On that note, y'all, see ya.